that the, our churches have been infiltrated by the Zionists. Our government has been infiltrated by these variants. And our cities have been infiltrated by madness. They want our heads. They want our silence. And this is our response in Christian resistance. We are a select few of Christian soldiers. And we need to know, are you down? And now, for the minister, they call Super Soldier. You have to realize you've been snake bit. Listen to this. John um, 3, 3, 14. Just as Moses, Moses lifted up the snake in the wilderness, so the Son of Man must be lifted up, that everyone who believes may have eternal life. That everyone who believes may have eternal life in him. You know, the Hebrews, when they were in the wilderness, um, they came upon an infestation of snakes. And you know what? Living here in America, <laughs> we're living in an infestation of snakes. Let me tell you, they're everywhere in all forms of snakes. And uh, the people went to Moses. Moses went to God. And he said, you know what? Uh, and I, basically, let me tell you, on a pole, it was the emblem of a snake. And um, he said, if you lift this up and the people look on it, that would be the antidote. That would be the antidote. If you lift this up and the, and the people looked at it. And what that was representing is Jesus that got lifted up on the cross with all the weight of sin on him. With all the weight of my sin, your sin. And you know what? With all the weight even of your addiction and my addiction. So when I say that, it already got paid in full. <laughs> he already made a way for you. He already paid for that addiction. Stop holding on to it. Stop holding on to it. And what we got to realize is we've been snake bit. It's not about what we have. It's about what we lift up in our life. What are you lifting up in your life? And as an addict, I used to lift up drugs. My alcohol, my high... It was all about me, me, me. Instead of lifting up the name, uh, lifting up Jesus in my life, the name of Jesus. You want to be set free? Lift up the name of Jesus and call out to him. Jesus! Jesus! You call out the name of Jesus and you watch how fast that addiction comes off you. And when you can't, you just yell out Jesus. When you don't know how to pray, yell out Jesus. And like a good father, he'll come running. Like a good father, when you're at your wit's end, just call on the name of Jesus. Lift his name so high above everything else. You know, this, this series is called Antidote for Addiction. And let me tell you, he's the antidote. But you gotta lift his name so high above everything else. I used to have my priorities mixed up. And sometimes I still do. And I have to remember to put him as first priority and lift his name so far above everything else. So high above everything else. Every, that It says right here uh, um, in verse 15, that everyone who believes in him may have eternal life. You know, this addiction, it's not um, benefiting you in this life or the next. It has absolutely no benefit in the eternal. I'm telling you, God's the biggest thing. He's the biggest name in this world and the next. But you got to lift him up. 
You got to lift his name up. I'm always talking about Jesus because the center of everything, the center of, 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 uh, uh, um, how you get sober, the antidote is Jesus. I don't know how you do it in a, in a secular program. I'm against secular programs, all right? It's got to be Jesus. You know, you might be able to get off the drugs in a secular program and it's been done. But after, there's no joy. You know, Jesus is able to give you joy in your heart, in your life, again. I have to share my testimony with, I haven't shared my full testimony, you know, just that, you know, that I I was an addict and things were pretty bad. Let me tell you, things are pretty bad. You know, um, but you know, one day, I had a man that lived a, <laughs> down the street and he was a Christian and he never gave up on me and he would come knocking on my door even when I was high and man I'm telling you I didn't want to see this man but he was persistent <laughs> and he would pray walk around my house praying interceding for me and my family I'm I'm forever th- I'm forever thankful f- to him because he God used him to start something in my life and um yeah Jesus is the antidote for this problem that we're going through I'm telling you you will not regret it <laughs> He's trying to raise up some soldiers that's, <laughs> he's trying to raise up some soldiers. And what the devil meant for your destruction, it's going to get turned around. And you're going to be straight soldiered up for Jesus. And not ashamed of his name. Not ashamed to spread the gospel. And you won't be moved to the left or to the right. But in that day that you're going to stand. And let me tell you that day is coming ever so close. We're surrounded by snakes. We're surrounded, but you know what? They have no power over you except for the power that you give it. They have absolutely no power over you. When you call on the name of Jesus above all names. And you just and you just just see what happens. You tried everything else. Up until this point you tried. And I know it's a hard word. But you wouldn't hear it from anybody else. You know, your mom, your parents try to talk to you, your friends, your family try to talk to you. But take it from another fellow ex-addict. That's a life that I think back on and it seems like uh, it was a dream. Uh, It's a bad dream that I lived through. But you know what? God take me out of it. God took me out of it. It's a way better life than living on the street. And he'll restore you. And give you everything you uh, lost and then some. And restore your life. That's how good, that's how good he is. And that's how good he is. But you gotta lift his name up so far above everything else. 
And when your focus is on him, that's the antidote. That's the antidote for addiction.